another cycle of uh, soaking shiitake. So this one I showed you where in the water, I removed them, I put them in the fridge for uh, one day and a half. Okay, this one need to be harvested. It was the previous soak, the previous uh, batch. Okay, um, so uh, these mushrooms for um, uh, spent a lot of time at 32 percent moisture. Even the small ones start to be to be shiny the surface. So they dried while I was struggling to get this phone working. So now I had to harvest very fast. Not have much time to to explain. Uh, but yes, that's why they are so dry usually. They, and actually, they are also over mature a bit because I forgot to do it last night. But it's okay, it's not so over mature, just a bit open. So, these will make perfect uh, dry mushrooms because they are a bit already dry. And yes, you can notice at the bottom there is some mold, but I will show you in another video how I'm fighting the mold. Uh, this block has this small ball, I'm not sure it will make it to become a mushroom. But I will leave it for a few days, and this one had these small things here, but they look like aborted, so it has also almost no no mold anywhere. A little bit here, um, so I will put it in the sun to dry. Yes, with the mold part in the sun, but I have to wash it to do it properly. This I will show you in another video. Uh, today I have these blocks that got out of the fridge and they also spent the night out. I have to beat them and put them inside the greenhouse and water everything because this 32% and yes, 27 here we are mid May and it's already summer. Look at these ants, how they are running with this heat. I love the heat. So this log has a, a bit of mold left here. So this didn't uh, dry uh, in the sun. And this one looks like having some mycelium here. So this one, I'm not sure. Mycelium, yes, I think it's mycelium of mold, not of mushroom. And uh, a little bit maybe here. But it's almost there because the look here, the, uh, we have already been growing. Because when I let them dry in the sun, usually they take out the mold, but this one didn't dry fast enough. Didn't took enough sun. Okay, maybe I try to keep it dry, this one. Okay. Put it here in the mini greenhouse, and so ah yes, I forgot to beat it. Beat, beat, beat like this. I try to loosen the inside without breaking anything. And usually, where I want to get mushrooms, usually at the sides. Okay, ah, this is ready. Okay. There. Uh, next one. This one is really hard. It didn't took enough water. Looks like uh, it has a spot of mold here. Yeah, the last the last touch was not very successful in terms of mold reduction uh, because we didn't have a lot of sun and there were many blocks like this, so they shadowed each other. But anyway, I think we'll get some mushrooms from this one. No problem, this bit of mold won't bother us. Ooh.
not in these settings because I mean we have already the insects, the ants, and the fungus. Uh, ah, yes, I forgot to harvest this one here. And yes, he likes to make mushrooms from the bottom. So uh, the mold grows where uh, the block don't dry. This was the bottom, and the mushroom was stuck to the uh, to the block at this particular place. And what you see here is mycelium of mold growing. So this will go directly to the sun. So I don't have so much space here. My blocks are very. I have to make another shelf, sun bathing shelf for shiitake. And this with the sun, it will totally disappear. We'll have nothing the next uh, time I will soak it. And so, yes, we have three others. Okay, I have to hurry up. Yes, this one looks like very black. Yes, uh, it's more bacteria that had eaten the skin, but it made another skin, kind of. So it's okay, this one. This one didn't brown correctly, it's, it was too white, and somehow didn't make the good skin that this one has. This one has a good brown skin with very few black spots, very few mold spots. And this one has... Uh, whitish skin with a lot of bacteria and blackish areas of die, dead uh, bacterial skin well but it's still surviving actually it soaked a lot of water so okay last one Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, shiitake, wake up. Okay, small shower. Yes, the shower will be also to remove the mold spots. So now I'm going to put them back in the greenhouse. And because it's only 31% and so hot weather I will uh, water everyone close and that it for the day and in one two hours all these blocks will be dry totally dry and what it means is that yes the mold is from here okay a little bit closer. Okay. No more molds. I also put them at the side so there is no water that stand on the top of the block. Uh, there is this one. Uh, I think the other ones are okay, they didn't have so much mold. So this is the harvest of uh, the day, let's say. And now I water everything and they are good for the day. And uh, because we are in the Mediterranean climate and we got this uh, kind of uh, uh, temperature and moisture in the middle of May, Probably we will not get any serious rain until uh, September or something like this. So I would say we had the pretty good mushrooms for such difficult uh, situation. Shiitake are quite kind of resilient because they managed to grow at very difficult situation as long as they get their regular watering, spraying, and they do, so if they don't dry too fast, 
they have the time to make mushrooms. So this is all for today. Uh, we have our harvest. We have our mushrooms all wet. Uh, we can close the greenhouse. Probably it will reach 60, 70 maybe. But, uh, well, that's not enough for mold to grow and the blocks will be dry in not so long time. So this is the strategy for uh, against mold is to always allow the blocks to dry. Never let them uh, wet more than six hours or else they start to grow and the sun helps to kill them. To be dry is not enough really, the sun uh, does the miracle job. Without sun I couldn't get any result, the mold just come back and now when I put them like this, no more mold, it regress. Okay, a little update for the greenhouse. Uh, it's been three days that it's uh, rainy here. I don't even come to mist. I leave the greenhouse open like this. And the mushrooms look pretty okay. Good thing is uh, that I had the blocks already dried when the rain started, so <coughs> no problems of mold or whatever. And so now I'm, I will be harvesting some of them like this. Look at this block. Oopla. Nice, uh, nice bucket of uh, shiitake. It's not very usual. And I will just spray a bit, not too much, the, <coughs> the mushroom that has still growing. So that's it. I will probably take the new blocks that are in the fridge. I will take them out. And I will start one of these blocks that are dry and waiting here. But my growing space is small, so I have always to wait that mushrooms are harvested to remove the blocks and to place it to dry here. You see, obviously, I can't put all these blocks in this small space here. Uh, but it's a nice, nice view of many mushrooms growing. <laughs> and here inside we managed to keep the moisture quite high, so you can see small shiitake is growing. Even though they get cracks because moisture gets quite low. I mean, now it's 61 and it's quite moist. I tell you, so imagine when it's dry, it's sometimes this, it may be 22, 20 or even lower. So uh, we use this moss as an indicator of how good the conditions are. So this is the recent one, although it's a bit old, it, it died a bit. Um, uh, but this is in a good state and we took it from the forest and we have many things to keep the things moist. Uh, so this, these blocks I have shown you a while ago. Um, last time we did, I was removing them from the fridge, uh, beating them and I put them here. And so now most of them have made nice small mushrooms. So. Uh, look at the size of these blocks, it must be like third or fourth flush. They are shrinking really, really s small now. And, um, but still they get, uh, they still continue making mushrooms. 
and most of them, like this one, okay, he, he, he's trying now. There is one who did nothing, and actually he's quite wet and a bit moldy. Uh, but uh, the other ones are doing well and making small mushrooms. So what I was, I am going to do now is to wet them a bit. Okay. Okay, uh, so as you see it's very very dry. I can maybe even uh, wash. I, I was washing the blocks, uh, showering the blocks. So usually I, I just do this. Okay, keep the mushrooms wet. All the mushrooms one by one. Okay, and avoiding a bit to get the um, blocks as wet as this. Okay, but now, I mean, an, uh, an hour ago I was, I did shower the, the, the blocks, so look, at it's, it's already dry. This is the miracle of the, or the, the <laughs> curse, depends how you see it, of the Mediterranean climate, so it's so dry. <coughs> so it dries very fast. But I will show you how we can use this actually to fight uh, mold. So this block in there, a uh, huge one, was a pasteurized block. It did give many mushrooms, like, I don't know, two kilos for two kilos of straw, something like 100 biologic efficiency. And then it was almost dry and so I did soak it. Now it's making a lot of small mushrooms, but it's a bit collapsing. It's not very, it's not like this one, very solid. It's a bit, uh, because it's straw inside. It's not, it's pasteurized straw instead of being uh, sterilized wood. And uh, then I will show you the new blocks. Uh, <coughs> But today I want to show you uh, the new, the, actually this is the last days for some mushrooms of uh, the previous cycle. So uh, these ones I have shown you from the start. I don't know if you remember the one without browning and actually we have two without browning. This one started to brown somehow um, and yes some of them are ready to harvest and others are just reacting now some of them here had some problems of mold and they just made a mushroom yesterday and this is the pasteurized block that I have soaked and the mushrooms are going well. Uh, they are small, but many of them. And yes. So, yes, we have another one behind. So they, they like to make mushrooms from underneath and from behind because it's, uh, the, they find more easily. Okay, you can see anything just guess the mushroom there so yes it dries more slowly like here also you can see it yes these two mushrooms okay so uh, as I'm trying to do uh, regularly I'm, I'm going to miss them but I want to show you before we harvest, like these ones are quite, these one are quite ready to harvest. It's a nice block. It has a lot of moisture left inside. Um, but for this flush, it's, it will be all, I think. So I think I will harvest it right now and try to not break other mushrooms. Yes, this one could have grown much more. Look, it's still closed underneath. 
but okay, it will be a premium mushroom. And I hope the other small ones who are left on this block will take, will pump the energy that this one was supposed to get. Okay, so it's 300 grams that I got from these blocks. It's not a lot, but uh, for, um, I don't know which, I mean, fourth or fifth flush. Look at these blocks, they are ridiculously small. They shrink each, at each after each flush, they shrink more. And so, yes, I think it's pretty good. And also, these mushrooms are more dry than the one I get from the greenhouse. Um, they have le less moisture than normal. Okay, um, so now I'm going to move the two blocks to put them to dry. Uh, so this one are still humid, especially on this side where there was the mushrooms. I need to get a full sunbath. <laughs> 